Hello, Adam Rayner, Slingshot World TV. This is the Anive Frontier Stove. You may have seen the unboxing. Last time I saw this was at a fishing show, so maybe it's appropriate that today I brought it with me on a little bit of a uh, filming day here at uh, the newly reland. Little, I'll try to say that again. The, re the newly relaunched and rebranded Seven Lakes Fishery. You try saying that, especially when you're as hungry as me. Anyway. Um, we brought the uh, Frontier stove here today, and uh, that was the pile of the kindling that you can buy as a simple glampy pack to get it going. And these are the good folks I've come to film. So without further ado, let's get all these bits out and have a look at what you get. Well, I've assembled it. The legs are really easy to uh, take the pin out, straighten them up, put the pin back in a different hole. I'm using their fuel, which is Remarkably easy to set going. Got a little door there. There we go. A little try on the front to catch any errant hot bits that shouldn't be leaving. And uh, check out the flue on this. It goes on and on and on and on and on. Look at that. Ooh, come way up. The crucial bit right at the top. There is the spark arrestor. Oh, we're going to get to the top. There it is. I love this microphone. The sound of wild boar point burning sizzling. Uh, it's two little skillets are from Costco. They came as a thing to cook. Um, Cookies on, you got cookie dough on them. Now, always a good idea when you got something that's proper hot like this to spit in fat. Well, does gloves, okay? It's not over the top. <laughs> oh, look at them sizzling away. Awesome. Oh, I'm a happy man. I'm right next to uh, Jason Sandifer's uh, Chef UK Carp installation where he's going to be cooking um, something a bit more sophisticated for a very late time, but. I'm going to bribe him with a mid-afternoon hamburger, hoping you'll feed me some of his pucker chefy nods later. Lovely. I have to say, the, uh, the Anive really is, the Frontier Stove is, an arga for the outdoors. Quite the most wonderful piece of kit. I have to admit, I'm proper in love with it, and calling this a review is a bit facetious or facile, because I wanted one of these the moment I saw it. They're really lovely people at Anive. You see that badge? Well, if you've been an Anive fan forever and have had a product since before that badge came out, they have been known to send those badges out as a separate thing. So, uh, easy to light, easy to move around, easy to cook on. Absolutely wonderful piece of kit. I can tell you that uh, Bex Nelson, who I'm here to... Uh, film as part of the Seven Lakes fishing relaunch. Took one look at me huge flu and went, that's so cute, I want one of them. The Wild Meat Company, that's Wild Meat Co. UK. Shoulder bacon of wild boar and two wild boar burgers. What a lovely, lovely piece of kit this stove is. First time I saw it, I described it as the Arga for the outdoors. And it really is. Oops, that was the wrong way. Just an excellent, excellent piece of kit. Is Adam Rayner, the Slingshot World TV. With the Anive Frontier Stove. 199 quid and worth every penny. Seen some other things at the bushcraft show, none of them were a patch on this. This was the most popular stove I saw at the uh, place for the hardcore go. Awesome.